To handle a 404 page, otherwise known as a page not found section of our website, we're going to have to create a brand new component for that. Currently, let's demonstrate what happens to our application if we actually have a route that isn't defined yet. Notice we actually get to our application, and let's inspect that. See the console, there's a couple errors there. We'll go in, and we cannot match any routes to that gibberish that we just typed in. Angular will not be able to render this page since it doesn't exist. Let's go into our app. We'll create a new folder called not-found. And inside of that, we'll do new file relative to the project root, not found. Oh, sorry, let's start in the app folder, not found, and not found .ts. Now remember, in the other components, we actually defined a selector. Since all of our selectors aren't going to be used and we're going to push these components through our router and the router outlet, we don't have to actually define a selector here. We can go straight to the template and use that. and we'll add an A tag to get them back to the home page. And finally, we'll export the class. In order to use our brand new component, we need to register it in the app module. And we'll do this all the way down under contacts component. So we'll do the not found component. Let's copy the import statement and we'll bring this over into our router now. And the final thing we need to do is match a not found route to the new component that we just created. The way that we can handle wildcards is to do two asterisks. And now, anything that does not match any of the above routes is going to route to our not found component. Order is very important here, as the router is going to go through this list from top to bottom, and it will return the very first route that gets matched. This means that if this is defined above everything else, then this route would always get returned. That's why we are going to define it at the bottom of this array, Let's go back to our application. Homepage, about, contact, all work the same. Type in some random gibberish, enter, and we get the 404 page now. No errors in the console, and this home button goes back to the home page. So very simple, just add a new component, use the wildcard match for the path, and now Angular 2 will route us to a new 404 page.